Oh my god, I wasn't recording that entire time. <laughs> so I just talked for like, first of all, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, I'm happy to have you. So I'm on my way to take photos and I was just sitting here holding my phone up for, what was that, like five minutes? And I wasn't recording, so my poor sister has to sit here and listen to me repeat myself. Um, <laughs> but so basically, if you are looking at shaky footage right now, I'm in the car and we are going to take some pictures. You can see my outfits hanging up right here. But I am going to this spot that I shoot all my pictures at and you guys probably noticed that based on like the backgrounds on Instagram. Um, I've been trying to change it up a little bit, but I'm just a creature of habit and I like the way that they come out. So there are like three different walls in within like 100 feet of each other that I take my pictures at. So I'll try to show you guys those if I remember. Um, but sometimes I do like to rush through this whole process because I don't want the person taking my pictures. I don't want to be a burden on the person who's taking my pictures. Um, so my sister is enlisted today to take pictures with me. Um, and normally my mom goes, but she's home from school for a couple of weeks. So I have to utilize all my resources <laughs> um, and also give my mom a break, even though she kind of like is entertained by it at this point. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take pictures. I mentioned to you guys in my last vlog that I went to get my nail fixed and I did go to get my nails redone this week. So I went to this place that I had a $5 off coupon for, so it wasn't my regular place. And normally when they ask you, do you want to go a little bit shorter, they just file them a little bit. So I said yes. And she brought up the nail clipper and just started cutting all of them off. So I basically went and got my nail fixed for $5 and then four days later went to get them done and she just cut them all off anyway. Um, but this is what they look like. I just got this like sparkle color. I don't know if you can even see that. Um, but yeah, I thought they were cute. I also kind of feel like a five-year-old, but whatever. And then I also mentioned that I'm gonna be glazing my hair. So my sister actually did hers. It's just like a shade darker than mine. You can't really, yeah, you, know, you kind of can tell. Um, but I just like it to be a little bit more impactful and the glaze will fade a little bit. So it's not gonna be as dark as it will be when I first do it. Yeah, so I'm glazing my hair. We have brunch today um, with my grandparents and it's this really cute restaurant near my house. So. I'll probably insert some clips of that too. The French toast is amazing and French toast is like my favorite breakfast food to ever exist. And so yeah, this is just gonna be a nice weekend vlog. I will take you along to anything that I get up to. I do have to do some returns at the mall that are like expiring, like the 30 day um, return policy is gonna be up on the 24th. So I do have to get that done. I'm just dreading going to the mall. Actually, I might be able to get there right when they open and just do it really quick because the Zara line will actually be like to the door and it's like a very long distance from the register to the door. So I just wanna kind of avoid that, but it's only 9 a.m. They open at 11, so hopefully I can get there in time before it gets too crazy. Okay guys, this is wall number one. You've probably seen me in here a bunch of times. I normally have to try to edit out this and that because they're obnoxious and who even knows why they're there. Over here is location number two. You guys have seen those planters countless times. That was really nice for the summer to have a little bit of color. That is location three. A lot more dingy than it appears on my page, I feel like. Rounding this corner. This is also another look. Okay, so there are umbrellas here today, so we're not gonna take pictures over here because those are very distracting and we just don't want them there. I don't have the editing skills to get those out. So we're gonna go back to the plain wall. All right, everybody, shooting is done. I am a clammy, gross, sweaty mess. It's not even sunny out, but it's bright and it's overcast, but it's also really humid. So my hair is starting to frizz at the front. I have to go home and film some videos too. So we're gonna have to fix this situation. Um, but it took us 45 minutes. We did six outfits, six or seven. I think there's six. So we got a lot done today. I am happy that I'm just being productive. And it's only 9.45, 9.52. Um, so now we have this big mess, which is like the most dreaded part is cleaning up after doing all of this. But you guys did see some of the, some of the location. So basically they're just like walls of a bank, a store, shop. One of them's like a blow dry bar. The, um, what's it called? The white brick is like the back of a blow dry bar. So um, yeah, that's just a, whoa, that's bumpy. <laughs> That's just a little bit of reality of me shooting and also, yeah, sometimes like depending on the lighting and things, I will have to like not, or I won't be able to use some of the walls. So it just ends up 
I don't know. I just try to get a good enough mix in there so that it doesn't look too similar and we get some close-up shots just to change it up a little bit. But yeah, very productive shoot and I'm just super happy that we got that done. Okay, I'm just about to head out to brunch. I am a little bit late, so I'm just gonna quickly show you my outfit. So I'm wearing this cropped um, long sleeve linen shirt from Zara. And then I have matching linen pants on. You guys probably saw this outfit in my last vlog if you watched it um, because I was wearing this when I did unboxings, but this is what the full outfit looks like. And then I have my Tiki's sandals on, which I got a discount code for them for Instagram, but I can use it over here also. So I'll leave that down in the description box. If you click on the link and just shop straight through the link, it will automatically apply the discount code, but I think it's either 10 or 15% off your order, which is really nice, especially for like a very classic minimal sandal. These are the Phoebe sandals, but I wanna get a pair of like regular black thong sandals because I have a pair of very beat up Pavianas and they're gross. So I am gonna get a new pair. I think I'm gonna get one pair in black just because these are a lighter color. And then they have a whole range of nude sandals that I wanna take a look at, but I think that would just be a little bit harder for me to try and match to my skin tone. So. We're gonna go with black first and then I'll probably add on to them next season also. But yeah, this is my outfit. Um, we are gonna be sitting inside and I get super chilly, so. And I know this restaurant is like notoriously known. It's not notoriously known. I went there before and I was freezing inside. So I just wanted to wear something that was like super lightweight still because it's very humid out, but then it could also be a little bit warmer for me. And I am wearing a little rumors tank underneath just to, honestly, just so I don't have to wear a bra. Um, but you guys saw this tank in my last vlog also. I feel like I'm just re-wearing all of my clothes, but the classics. So let's head out to brunch. So I'm now coming to you live from my bathroom. It's time to dye my hair. I'm gonna be using this Alpha Parf Milano brand. This is the one that I get. I get it in shade five. It's called Light Natural Brown. And I think you could just pick this up on Amazon or something. Um, so I have that. And then I have Activator, which the beauty supply store just put into this little container. And then I have my mixing bowl. So I'm basically just going to apply it as you would if you were putting on like the Olaplex mask. So I'm just gonna start at the roots, pull it all the way through to my ends, put a shower cap on and then wait 20 minutes and then I have to shower it out, which is like honestly the most annoying part because you have to wet your hair and then in order to like fully see the result, I have to dry it again. But yeah, this is what it looks like now. I'm gonna get my gloves all suited up. I actually had to wait to do this because I was at work and I'm like the clumsiest person ever and I forgot my badge. So I was propping the door open to go to the bathroom with a stapler and I put it in the doorway and then I went to stand up and I hit my head on the doorknob and I got a little cut from it. <laughs> and I mean, I put, there's like a sign on the mirror too that says that I have a cut on my head because I knew I was gonna forget and probably brush over it and that was making me cringe. Um, but it was just a little scratch on my head and I didn't wanna glaze my hair while it was like an open wound because I didn't know if it would burn or anything like that. Um, so I had to wait a little bit, but I think it's finally healed today. I've been making my sister check it like every single day and I think it's finally good to go. So let's get this process started. And when I see you guys again, I will have a shade darker of hair. Okay, everyone. So this is the final result of my hair. As you can tell, it's really not that much darker and this is a rough blow dry. So it is pretty much one or two shades darker. I think my hair matches my eyebrows a little bit more when I dye it this color, but it's just a little bit darker. It ends up fading back to my normal color anyway, so it's not something too permanent if you're looking to do a little bit of a change up, but you don't wanna go out of control with it. I've never had like actual dye on my hair when I've dyed it darker. And the only other time that I've dyed my hair like permanently was when I got a balayage and we don't even wanna talk about those days. It was absolutely horrible <laughs> um so i will link the color that i use down below as well as any of the materials that i use like a brush and it's honestly really foolproof like i just like i said i massage it into my hair as if it's kind of like an olaplex treatment and 
basically from start to finish it takes about 20 minutes because it's only supposed to set in your hair for 20 minutes you can leave it in a little bit longer if you want to like i will fully put it in and then i'll wait about like 15 minutes more so maybe it takes about like 25 minutes in total but yeah it's really quick and easy and the kit is like 20 dollars instead of paying like i know my sister paid 80 just for the hair dye and then she also got a haircut so it was a lot more expensive and a lot of other people that I know have paid like insane amounts of money just to make their hair darker and if you go with the right color like this guy did match my hair so I'm not advising that anyone just like eyeballs off the website to see what color you should dye your hair but if you do know what color you want to do or if you have hair that's similar to mine and you just want to go a little bit darker then this is a really good option for you but I'm very happy with the way that it turned out and this is my third third or fourth time doing this now so I feel like I'm kind of a pro but also it's nothing different from the first time that I did it it's like really honestly like the easiest thing that you can do and it's a lot cheaper than doing it at a salon so yeah my hair is all dyed I am actually gonna go to the mall later today because I have returns that are due today I don't know why I'm saying that they're due as if it's like an assignment but it technically is because otherwise I don't get my money back so I'm gonna head into Zara and H&M later and maybe i'll have a look around with you guys i did also place an online order for zara and mango that both came today so stay tuned for that on my channel i'm gonna do i think like a joint like one big haul with the zara and mango things just because i think it's also fun to do like two brands within one video and that way i only have to film one video and edit one video which is really nice so that's what i have planned for the rest of the day i will take you guys along with me to the mall and then I think the vlog will end there. So if I don't speak to you guys and I just insert some clips from the mall, then thank you so much for watching this video. I know these are kind of just like little snippets of my like everyday life in here. So it really means a lot to me when you guys do watch these and it, that you are interested in them. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you guys in my next one. Okay, you guys, so I just spoke to you guys before I was going to do my returns at the mall and I thought that I was going to sign off the vlog there, but I figured I would bring it full circle. So um, this isn't like a deep full circle. It's literally me going to get my nails done again. So these are grown out. As you guys saw in the video, they were freshly done or maybe they were a couple days old and now I am going to get them done. So I normally leave right after work and make an appointment for right after because I get out of work at four and a lot of people, if they are working, don't get out until like five or 5.30. So I try to get there before the rush, but the owner of the salon just called and asked if I can move it back a half an hour. So I'm just gonna take my time getting there. I stayed at work a little bit later than I normally do so I can get a couple more things done. But I posted on my Instagram story three different types of nails and I don't know why I keep doing that even because I feel like I just end up going rogue and picking something completely different than what I had in mind. But I haven't done a French in a little while. It's been maybe like two months and I had done them for so long in every single color. I did yellow, I did blue was my first one. In the fall last year, I did black and an emerald green. And I've also done light pink, but when I went to get the light pink one done, I was trying a new salon and she completely botched them and it looked terrible. I will put up some inspo of the three that I'm choosing between. So I don't know why I'm going for these pastel colors. I think it's because summer is almost over and this is like my last chance to do some sort of summer nail. Um, not that I wouldn't do like a nude or a pink in the winter time, but I normally like to do like darker colors because it just matches my all black outfits better. So I'm either thinking a pink French, which I think is really cute and a little bit more understated than other ones that I've tried in the past. But then the powder blue is just, the last time I got blue, it was more of like a periwinkle blue, which was really nice, but I haven't done like a really, really light blue. So I think that could be pretty. And then one color that I actually haven't tried yet is um, like a pastel green. And there's a picture of the Pinterest photo that I probably already inserted by now. Um, and it has all these different tones of like blues and greens on the nails. And I'm always looking at that photo and I never end up doing it. So maybe today one of them will be the winner. But so far on the Instagram poll, you guys have been voting light pink again. So there's no telling what I'm going to go with. I might even just walk in there, pick a base color and then look at the nice like little nail wheels and choose whatever I'm feeling in that moment, which is normally what happens. 
So I will talk to you guys when these grown out, gross little things are done. Okay, done with my nails. It is pouring rain outside, so I'm sorry if it sounds like really loud. Um, but you're probably wondering why, or even if you're not wondering why and you're just watching this vlog, my nails are fully pink because I, number one, I told you guys that they asked to move my appointment back. And then when I was actually there, they were asking what color I wanted and I asked the nail tech if she could do a French and she said that she had someone coming soon after me. So she basically said no. And let me know in the comments below what you guys would have done because I am like getting better at speaking up, but I kind of was just like, okay, whatever. And I just picked a solid color and it's really pretty, but um, first world problems. She's not the best at painting without streaks. And this is gonna be on my nails for two weeks, but it's totally fine. Um, as long as my nails are done and I like the color, it doesn't really matter to me. But so I am going to get gas right now because I wanna have my car filled up before I end up going down the shore. So it is Labor Day weekend. And my next vlog is gonna be me packing and going down to the beach with you guys. So I'm excited to take you along with me. So I think me and my nails are done for this vlog. If you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure you give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for joining me for these and for basically watching me blabber on about my everyday life. But I hope you guys are all doing really well and I will see you in my next video.